Cervical and lumbar nerve pain is, is I'd say, fairly common. It occurs um, probably in about 80% of the population um, at one time or another in their life. It, it, it most commonly affects adults. Okay. It is um, probably a slight uh, predilection to males in comparison uh, to females, and more common in uh, patients who are overweight or patients who abuse their back, uh, patients who are football players, construction workers, those sorts of things. Patients typically complain, complain of pain along um, the back that radiates into the buttock, thigh, leg, or foot, or into the shoulder, arm, or forearm. Um, when a patient has pain that radiates into those areas, it's most commonly a, a nerve compression or, or a disc herniation. It, it, can, it can be differentiated from, a, from acute lumbar strain, which is usually pain that's localized to the back, and that usually is uh, self-limiting or goes away on its own with rest and anti-inflammatory drugs. If a, if a patient has a problem like this, they really ought to see their uh, primary care physician almost you know, within the first few days if it lasts longer than a few days. If it goes on for more than a week or 10 days, or if it's persistent, or if there's actually a neurologic deficit, which means they have what's called a foot drop, or they can't, when they walk, their foot drags, or they trip, trip on their toe, or they have difficulty going up the stairs, leading with the affected extremity going up the stairs, difficulty holding onto their coffee cup. Those are indications that they have a neurologic deficit and they have a more severe problem and that they need to be more aggressively treated. We, we always like to, con like to start with conservative therapy, okay? Uh, and number one, it's because it's best for the patient, okay? As long as there's not severe rapid progression of the disease, um, or as long as there's no significant neurologic deficits, we do uh, rest, anti-inflammatory drugs, um, and physical therapy. And usually that can be done by the primary care uh, physician. If the pain is ongoing though, um, we treat this with steroid injection. There's a lot of special things about the way um, Shawnee Mission treats pain. Uh, we are the only uh, pain clinic that I know of in, in the area that has a full-time pain psychologist. Um, pain is, is a very, very difficult thing psychologically, particularly um, if it's ongoing and if, and if it's chronic. It, it um, affects a, pa a person's ability to work. It affects their family life. And it, it very, very frequently can be, um, uh, can go along concomitantly with depression or exacerbate depression or be a primary cause of, of depression. We also have excellent surgical, uh, surgical staff here and an, and an, and an excellent um, uh, referral source for surgeons. They're all very good, uh, both orthopedic and uh, neurosurgeons, and I'm, I would feel comfortable sending my family to any, to any one of the surgeons on staff here. I'm Dr. Dan Mitchell. I'm one of the pain management physicians here at Shawnee Mission Medical Center.